Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Aurora 4X. So, uh, it's been about five days since the end of the last episode, and I uh, decided to not proceed any further and just go ahead with the recording, because, as you can see down below, we have, at long last, finally finished uh, exploring the... Ruins on Cairns A5. Alright, so let's see what we got. Uh, we also got the boy missile as well. Um, so, Ruins on Cairns A5 have been fully surveyed by the Rachel Ball Xenologist team. The alien race which inhabited the planet has been identified as the Federated States of Callisto, and their language and symbology have been translated. Woo! 244 abandoned installations were found, which may be recovered by a construction brigade. That is amazing. 244 installations. That is awesome. Love it. Absolutely fantastic. I think that was one of the cities, actually. Um, Cairns A5. Here we go. 244. Tech level 1, though. So, I don't... That's not very great. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's kind of poor, actually. Um... 244 installations with a tech level 1 is kind of crap. But hopefully we'll get something useful out of it. Uh, and we also got some Xenology bonuses as well, which is excellent. Alright, um, and rating is up to 157. So what we'll do is... Um, I will grab... County. And I don't know where it where it's parked at the moment. Perry's going to need a refueling next later eventually. Uh, system map. All right, it's, it's at Canberra Prime. Um, so Canberra Prime release tracted. Um, so we need to go to. Cairns A5. Oh, wrong button. So we need to go to Cairns A5 and we need to get our ship, uh, or get our team moved elsewhere. So uh, we are in Canberra at the moment, which is. Uh, where is it? Canberra is there. And we need to get to Cairns. So that means we need to go to Seoul. Uh, then Rockhampton, then Cairns, and we're at Cairns A5, so we will pick up the team, and where do we need to go after that? So after that, we need to go to uh, one of the Newcastle. Do we have a team on, on any of the Newcastles yet? We have it on A3. Well, uh, these guys can move to this one. So we'll take the current team to Kalgoorlie. Alright. So from Cairns to Kalgoorlie is... There. Okay. So that's a bit of a roundabout trip. But Rockhampton. Then Seoul. Then Canberra. Then Kalgoorlie. And we are dropping them here. So drop off team. Then back to Canberra. And uh, well, let's just go. To, let's move back to Canberra Prime because the task group doesn't exist yet to join into it. Okay. Uh, so nice long round trip, but that will uh, hopefully. Um, They'll hopefully not take too long. How long does it expect it to take there? Well, we need to detach it first. So... Uh, two months. Right up. It's not bad. Could be worse. Alright. So we will now run through production and we'll see what uh, cans will dig up. Uh, we do actually have construction brigades over there, don't we? 
let's just check real quick. Ah, no, we do not. Okay, we need to get some construction brigades. Um, so that means Bandicoot. We need Bandicoot. Uh, Bandicoot has a marine company, so we will drop that off. And we will load 18th and 19th construction brigades. And we'll go to Rockhampton, Cairns, Cairns A5. Oh, no, they all grind units. And then fly back home. Okay, uh, camera five is done as well. So Southport has been surveyed with two jump points, which is there. Um, do we go out to uh, do we go survey Darwin? I think we should go survey Darwin. Let's go survey Darwin. How are we doing on fuel? Fuel's fine, maintenance fine, months is fine. All right, so Townsville, then Darwin. And we'll run the survey there. Good. <clears throat> So as you can see, it, it we are starting to slowly uh, slow down. Uh, the game is taking a lot longer to process nowadays. Thankfully, combat is still processing at a reasonable rate, and the small time frames are processing at a reasonable rate. Um, once those start grinding down, uh, we're going to have to do something like um, clearing out some of the uh, some of the civilian traffic. Ecology is not too far off. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so Palmer Mount is chugging along. March and July sixty nine. Mm, that's gonna be a while. Okay. So we'll do so spinal mount, that one is not too far off. Uh, so we're about to scrap the long sword, so Let's finish that off. 30th of March. March 69, March 68. Well, how's it going to take that long? Completion date's doing something weird. Okay. So long sword's almost done, and done. Okay, let's see what we have learned. So ship scrapped. We got the cues. We got the mag fusion drive. We got the thermal sensor, the search sensor, the missile fire control, and the military jump drive. Uh, we also got the ECM, the ECCM, six launchers, four magazines, um, and a million liters of fuel. Awesome! Um, okay, so we didn't seem to get any kind of armor technology from it, which is disappointing. Um, but we did get a bunch of components, which is good. So we are keeping these uh, drives 
No, those are ours. Yeah, we are keeping a hold of these drives until we finish the reactor tech, the magnetic fusion reactor tech. Uh, but we do want to disassemble the other components and see what we can get out of them. So, Q's 160. All right, we seem to have gotten some ECCM out of it. Wonderful. Uh, what else did we get? We got the magnetic fusion drives, but those are remaining. The thermal sensor, I think we already have all the tech there. Nope. So we've got some sensitivity out of it. Excellent. Um, the active search sensor 115, which is here. Nope, nothing there. Uh, the missile fire control, which is there, nothing there. Uh, and the jump drive. All right, we've got some efficiency tech. Wonderful. Okay, that's beautiful. All right, now we take the ECCMs, because we definitely get tech out of those. Right, another 1,600 points and 400 points. Good. Um, size 4 missile launchers. No, nope, so those are just getting scrapped for parts. Uh, magazine, I think those are all getting scrapped for parts as well. Because we got some earlier and there's, and there's nothing we can get out of them. And fuel. Okay. So that is... Scrapping done. So we got some we got some, we got some tech and we got some minerals. So excellent. Uh, right. So what's next? We've got spinal mount, we got power mod and mag confinement fusion is next on shopping blast. Excellent. That one's gonna take a little while longer, so we'll continue on for the advanced spinal mount tech. Looks like all of these are going to finish this year, which is good. It's got March, July, February, February, April, March. So, mostly first half of, well, next year, really. <laughs> uh, we've got Xenologist teams in Kalgoorlie now working away. That is good. We will take, okay, um, all right, it's taking these guys to cans, that's fine. All right, uh, that's chugging along. Tech is not too far off. Nothing important happening this cycle. Okay, we found some more minerals. Only forty four 
All right, so that's slowly climbing back up to full as our population grows, which is good. Oh, one of our Tobruk 2 captains has died. Oh well. Uh, and our tug has finally returned. That's good. That's very good. Uh, we're going to run out of geranium at this stage. But we have plenty on Luna, which is great. Uh, we don't have any mass drivers. Well, we don't really have plenty on, June, on Luna. We have some. Uh, Mars has a small quantity as well. Sydney Prime is where most of our um, minerals are going to come from. Now, since we do have some minerals on Sydney Prime, we can actually go ahead and do a little testing. So, this guy is going to stay where he is, but we need these freighters. So, what I'll do is, we'll go to Sydney. Sydney Prime. And we will load 100 uranium. No. 100 uranium. Just going to do a quick little bit of, quick little test. Uh, it was pointed out that apparently um, each ship that has cargo holds in the task group will load that amount of minerals. So if I put 100 and that theory is correct, then we should see the task group load up with 300 uranium. Um, if it's just a glitch on that on his end, then um, it will float up with only a hundred on here. So we'll see. Uh, that's slinging. Well, it's not mining yet, but it'll be slinging to Sydney Prime. So Sydney Prime has a good has a good amount of lots of minerals. So we'll have plenty of resources. Basically, whenever it gets up to a decent amount of minerals, we're going to uh, build up and just sling it back towards uh, Earth. And we are slowly building mines as well, so that will um, slowly increase. We're not building vendor rights, so construction factory is not going to do us any good. Okay. Let's keep going. So that one's wrong. So that one's probably going to be finished by the end of the year. How are we doing on those terraforming? Okay. Uh, terraforming Sydney is adding safe greenhouse and it's going to be climbing up soon. That's fine. Might need to end up adding more oxygen or removing some nitrogen or something. We'll see. Uh, Canberra Prime is up at 82 and it's removing the methane at the moment. Uh, that should be done pretty soon. Some more minerals. Okay, so salvage fleet has order has finished orders. Now we will see how much minerals they have. Nope, only a hundred. Okay, so nope that that does work um, with task group. So um, problem was apparently somewhere on the order end. Okay, so load all minerals. From Sydney Prime, that should load all of them except for the reserved value. Uh, Sydney Prime. Good, that did block, the reserve did block, so we picked up 12,000 geranium, uh, all the tried, all the tritium, all, almost 20,000 boronide. Um, and a fair amount of macassium, but obviously didn't have enough to load up the entirety. 
which seems a little bit odd because it should have enough. Hmm. 12,000, 2,000, 20,000, so 20, 32, 36, 37. Huh. That's strange. It looks like each unit of mineral is not necessarily one ton of cargo space. Because we should have been able to load up a lot more. Oh well. Back to Sol. Let's drop off the geranium. Um, unload all the minerals. And while we're at it, head back to Sydney. So we can do more testing. Ooh, we got some electronic countermeasure one. Hooray. That is completely useless to us. Uh, but we did get five of them, so I guess that's okay. I mean, we got we get the minerals out of it, so sure. Yeah, this is the problem with tech level one. Pretty much any com any ship components that we get are going to be um, very low tech. So we're not really going to be able to get any kind of decent technology out of it unless we dig up straight. That's strange. That's bizarre. It's still running up crew. Okay. Probably because the crew isn't max. How many crew do we have? No, crew is full. We got capa birth capacity. Hmm. Not sure what's going on there. Oh well, it's going to be relevant next tick anyway. All right, so Canberra Prime is now empty of methane. So let's go set that up real quick first. Canberra Prime, here we go. Okay, so it's 30.0 at the moment. Um, so now we have our oxygen. So what we need to do is we need to boost the temperature back up. So let's start adding safe greenhouse gas at the moment. And we're going to go with... 0.1 atmospheres first. All right. Now, let's have a look at our components. No, we need it in this. Good. All right. So we've got the cues. So we definitely get tech out of that for the ECCM. So disassemble. There we go. And we'll get this ECCM. And ECM um, thermal sensors. Oh no, electro that, that was electromagnetic. Never mind. 
thermal sensor, there we go. And size for missile launcher, yep, we don't need that. Uh, the military jump drive, there we go. We need to disassemble that for the research points, good. Um, <laughs> Hang on, which fire controls does this one have? 61R20 sensor. There it is. So, no, nothing from that one. And we also have fire control 61R20. Oh, magazines. There it is. Nope, nothing. Okay. Okay, and we've got another four ranges to disassemble once we have the engine tech. I have two sets of missile launchers. One of these is redundant. I might have to burn, burn off some components with ships and... <clears throat> I don't know. We'll see. Uh, in the meantime, let's keep working on our technologies. I'm still a little bit disappointed that we didn't get any armor technology from disassembling the ship. Oh well. Presume I, I I mean I guess it kind of does make sense because you know just because you can analyze a material and see what it looks like now doesn't mean you can you'll understand how to make that material you know. Um, all right, let's redo the test on the salvage fleet now. So Sydney Prime, what do you have for us? Let's load 100 Geranium again. And it has used 200 space. Right, oh, okay. Let's try 100 Macassium because we have plenty of that. Is it Macassium they have plenty of? Yeah, Macassium. So we'll add 100 Macassium. Okay, so it looks like each unit of minerals consumes two units of cargo space. Right, so keep in mind, everyone, your cargo space is effectively halved when transporting minerals. There you go. Okay. So we'll go ahead and load up on minerals. Sydney Prime, here we go. So stockpiles are once again nice and low, which is expected. Uh, but it looks like we haven't grabbed all of it again, but that's fine. We got all the corundium, the iridium, and a whole bunch of macassium, so that's good. So back to Earth, we go to refuel and unload. So within systems, we're going to be so within the Sydney system, we are going to be using um, mass drivers to send our minerals to places, uh, and we're going to collect collect them all at Sydney Prime, and from there we are going to use freighters 
Oh, fuel. Wow, that's a lot of fuel. Cans A5. How much fuel is that? 10 million liters of fuel. That's nice. Good work, guys. Um, what was I saying? Right, yeah, so we're going to use freighters to ship the minerals from uh, Sydney Prime and eventually uh, Canberra Prime. Uh, and we're going to use those to um, bring those minerals back home. But for now, with Fleet Base almost halfway done, um, we are going to put a break in the episode, as I am trying to give them a little bit on the shorter side, so they don't take forever to upload, even though YouTube is being slow about it, but whatever. Um, and um, I will see you tomorrow.